What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to That's This Gaming, my name's Rob. This will be episode 26 of the Borderlands 2 fresh playthrough. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so, as always, because it's been a week, I have no idea where we left off. Two seconds, I'm just cleaning my glasses. Right, okay. Okay, let's have a look. What missions did we have to do? Okay, there you go. An old boyfriend of mine, name of Taggart, was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the high... You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says that. I say it. Well, friend. My pleasure as always. Don't die. I okay, just making sure I got plenty of ammo and check, back later to check the weapons. Just make sure there's not a better shield or a better oh, class mod. Ah, and that would be no. So yeah, the uh, the aim of this mission, ladies and gents, just go around, search your stalker piles, and try and find these echo recorders. Uh, sometimes you can find all five pretty much straight away, and sometimes you pretty much gotta go all over this frickin' map to get them, so... Uh, we'll see how we get on now. But basically all we're doing is we're searching these piles of shit. And we're looking for an echo recorder out of one of them. Show your ugly mug. Stop. <laughs> okay. Let's just quickly check this. There you go, there's one. Chapter one. Today I put the stalker so hard it turned inside out. End of chapter one. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's a couple more we can search around here. Hopefully. With any luck. There's another one, that's good. Chapter two. Jack was a kitty. These stalker things are something. I pounded one right in the throat with my thumping hammer. Just like mom taught me. And it pretty much exploded. It made this hilarious noise like... Oh, look at this. Chapter three. three. My boys found out the stalkers don't cloak so well once their shields are down. They get all panicky, start roaring to power up their friends. It's cute. I saw a huge stalker staring at our camp the other day. I had decided to name her Henry. You know, after... A, oh, hold on a second. Hey, Mom! No, I was just saying I'm the stalker after you. Okay, so we're off to a good start here, ladies and gents. The fact that we found three in this one area, that's pretty good. Um, as I said, there was a time before where literally they put one in one pile of shit and they had placed one in every different area of this bloody map. So it took me ages to find them. But there's some more down here. Why is that noise? It sounds like there's one right by me. Okay. Weird. Not one in there. Oh, <laughs> what? There's number four. Chapter four. Everything's fine. Henry and her stalker friends took out my team and stole the special Mother's one. Day present that I handmade. But hell with it. I'm heading out there and I'm getting my damn you got to be shitting me. Alright, there you go. There's all five. That's the quickest. Genuinely, that is the quickest I've ever done that. I mean, sometimes I've had to go to, you know, there, there, and over there. But, 
I've never just gone to the two places and had it. Um, the reason I say you can find them all in one place because I have seen uh, other YouTube videos where I think one guy, I'm not going to mention any names, but I think one guy did uh, happen to find them all pretty much in the one area. So, But there you go, that's uh, awesome. Oh, stalker to stalkers, I can turn that in now. I didn't get the kills that I did. Hold on, never mind. Oh well, go and turn that in, and then we can go to uh, the wildlife preservation. Right. As I said, we didn't kill the 15, so I think we only killed about 12, but, you know, balls to it, doesn't matter. Not important. For this one, you're going to go up here and put it in this mailbox. Oh, crap and crap. Go for that. Okay, Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. Uh, oh my god, we're going to need a vehicle. Going the wrong way. My bad. Now, for any of you, uh, for any of you lot that saw my favourite places in um, uh, Borderlands 2, this is this came. I don't remember because it was so long ago. It came up there somewhere. It was in the. Uh, it was in my top five play, uh, favourite places. Have a look. I've just found the uh, the notes, and it was third. Uh, wildlife uh, Exploitation Preserve was third in my top five. So, uh, you'll see why now when we get there. I just love the place. Okay, let's go. Yeah, to get there, you just got to kind of follow this road around. Goof it over here. Okay. When Claptrap could get through that Hyperion force field. Now he's out of date though. He'll need a software upgrade. Mordecai should have what you need. He's camped out near the preserve. I think he needs your help with something. Okay, so we gotta go and find Mordecai. And then, as you can see, get the Claptrap upgrade. Kill some of these annoying bastards along the way. There's another mission there, look. Okay, what we're going to do... We'll quickly do this one. This takes us back to where we just were. Gotta go back here. Okay, so yeah, with this mission, all we gotta do is basically go back to exactly where yeah, we just go back to exactly where we just were. A huge stalker will come out called Henry and kill the shit out of him. 
First things first, we've got to kill his minions. Oh, come on, what is what going on with my aiming today? See why I hate stalkers. Ha! Bow kill bitches. Right, so then you come over here, Henry comes out, face lock the shit out of him and shoot his tits off. And he's gone in the floor. Wait, why wouldn't he? That makes sense. I mean what the sweat. Don't go over there and die. That's alright, rejoin your shield, I don't care, just get your shit back here. I have never seen this game do shit like this before. Alright, thank you. Uh, yeah, there you go, that's the, the mission item that you've got to pick up, some guy's hand. Where is it? Come on, are you annoying shit? Stay <sighs> well, these bloody things. Right. Uh, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Let's just have to take care of something. Right, so, um... Who do we just kill? Henry. Right, Henry, yes. He has a chance to drop a legendary, and that is the Cradle Shield, and it's crap. That's all you need to know. And then he goes and gives us the Love Thumper. That's the mission item. You'll always get that shield for this. Um... As you can see, it's got huge uh, roid damage on it, ah, but it's just one of those shields you just never use. It's one of those mission items, thank you, Sal. It is for me anyway. Uh, right. Now we've got to go back. Can I get out this way? No, I'm getting myself confused now. Right, now we need to go back to Wildlife Preservation Preserve. Uh, wildlife Exploitation Preserve, even. Right, I've only been playing the game for six years. And we should be able to, because we've been there now. Be able to fast travel there. <laughs> We're going to go somewhere else first, though. Because there's something I want to show you on this game. Whether I show you in this episode or not. I don't know, we'll see. But I have to have a certain mission for me to be able to show you what to do. So, open the door. The mission that we need you will help me and I will is you. that one there. So basically, this old this mission we've got now, Doctor's Orders, you don't complete it, ladies and gents. Some people would not be willing to pay you a great um, deal of money for bringing I'll explain the reason why when we get to Wild uh, Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. Right, I have to reiterate something. I say this mission you don't complete. You can complete. There's nothing wrong with you completing it, but it does stop you doing. Uh, farming the loot midgets. Um, the loot midgets, there's a certain part of this level where there will be four boxes, each one containing a different loot midget. Um, for every exp 
experiment note you pick up, you will lose a loot midget. So if you get all four, there'll be none there. Um, but the the bonus of farming the loot midgets is they're the most likely things, apart from bosses and raid bosses, they're the most likely things to get world drop legendary guns on this game. So I've spent hours upon hours farming these little gits. Um, sometimes I've got some fantastic stuff off them, and sometimes I've got nothing off them. It is kind of a lottery, but uh, as I said, for every slag experiment note you pick up, one of those loop midgets will disappear. Hey, hey. I heard about rolling echo to head. So you don't have to stand there and listen to Mordi's uh, Mordecai's speech. You can just go. Now when we get around here, there's going to be some loaders. And there's going to be uh, some people. So I'm going to switch back to my corrosive. Did I pick up a more corrosive? No, it was fire, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we go around here and then you see these loaders. And then you've got to come down, you've got to pull this um, lever here, for, but then the gate won't open. And then they release more loaders to come and kill you. So Mordecai's suggestion there was to damage the loaders but not to kill them. So the way you know you damage the loader is not like that. That's obviously killing him. So basically you wanna hurt you wanna shoot it until it gets I'm just killing all these now. See that mark? The spanners above its head? That means it's damaged. But the thing is, it does take quite a while to do that, so there is kind of a way around this. Just keep killing the loaders and those doors will eventually open. You don't have to do it that way. You can just keep killing them, getting the XP. You don't, Mordy. See, you'll keep saying this, but trust me, ladies and gents. You can just keep killing them. And eventually, that, those doors will open, and two guys will come running through, and you can kill the shit out of them. Ah, oh, shut up, Mordy. There you go, the doors are open. See, you didn't have to get, you know, uh, damage them so they would ask for repairs. Where is it? No, no. It's coming straight from me as you shoot it like that. Okay, oh, jeez. Oh, where is it? Go. Okay, so as you come through your ladies and gents, there's going to be a couple of loaders, a couple of bad guys. Can't shoot through fences. If you right, so these things, because it's spinning, if you get close, if you shoot them, they'll just whack it back at you. If you get close to them, though, they'll stop, swipe for you, shoot them that way. Same with this guy. Step back. Pull loaders, they can reflect your damage. That guy's slagged. Oh, that's the point. Mordy's up there. Somewhere. Mordy's up there, look. 
and he's shooting down, slagging all these guys, making them making it easier for us to kill them. That can be beneficial sometimes, but it can also be annoying. Right, okay, so you come in, you can see this room here, you can see there's a nice loot box behind there, but you've got these laser beams. The way you get rid of them, look above it, you see that thing up there, shoot that, it will explode, blows up the fuse, turns off the laser beams, saves you going all the way up there to get them. Nice amount of ammo there, I needed that. Now you can get legendaries out of this box, it has happened in the past. More likely to happen in uh, True Vault Hunter mode or Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Um, but as I said, it's not impossible, it does happen. So, carrying on. And now you can see there's loads of ammo boxes around here. I'm just going to check them because I've got about half of what I should have. So, because I know what's coming up, there is a vendor a bit further up. So it's not... We're not at Dire Straits yet. So... See the power loader, as soon as you as soon as you start those things spinning, it becomes very hard to hit you can go for a burden. Alright, he's dead. So there's a guy over there, and he is. Another clean kill. Okay. So the Hyperion Preserve is always accepting applicants for human flag testing. Okay. <laughs> if you ever listen to some of these guys when you kill them, some of them come out with some fantastic lines. I think my favourite one is, I, <laughs> damn it, I almost finished my comic book collection, and being a comic book collector, I think that's uh, quite fitting. Oh, loot midget. There you go. So basically, that's what happened on later on. Uh, that's what will happen later on, ladies and gents. There'll be four boxes. You'll open them up. It'll have the same effect. That little thing will come jumping out. Uh, if you collect the slag experiments, though, they don't. Now what I'm going to do is, I am going to collect the cl uh, slag experiment notes because I need to show you guys where they are, I need to show for those of you who don't play the game and you know are following this as a, an actual playthrough, I'll show you where they are and then what I'll do is, I'll sh when we get to the boxes, I'll show you where the boxes are obviously not all the um, not all the loot midgets will pop out of it, but I'll just show you where the boxes are so that if you want to come back in future and you know, when you play through and farm these guys to try and get legendary guns you'll know uh, where to come and what to do so okay so we're going to drop down here now we have a lot of skags there should be a badass over here now yeah there he is luckily he's fire I say luckily, it's because we had a corrosive weapon uh, equipped. I find most, most times I drop down in this game to that point. Um, whatever gun I've got equipped, ten, that, the badass tends to be that. So if I've got corrosive, it tends to be a corrosive badass, and I just don't do any bloody damage to it. Right, there's going to be another three coming along now. They'll drop down here. Let's get the cloud kill up. Just kills all three of them. Okay, so the first slag experiment note is up here. It's by there, ladies and gents, okay? So, uh, before we pick it up... Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Crap. Oh, hey, you're in the preserve. I was going to do this whole thing where I'd lure you in here and kill you, but you just... Well, you just kind of showed up. <laughs> Thanks for saving me okay. the trouble, kiddo. So, there's the first. Sammy, let's say we start that Which means that when we get to the midgets, it's going to be 
There's only going to be three there now. Okay, took them down nice and easy. Subject Eric Franks. Now there's two. There's two uh, bosses that can spawn in this area. They're an Easter egg from um, Lion King. If any of you have seen the Lion King, you will know the characters. Uh, Timon and Pumba. Well, in here we've got Pomon and Tumba. So it's a play on their names, and if I'm not mistaken, they can drop legendaries. So Tumba will drop the Deliverance, which is a shotgun. That's a really good shotgun. And Pomon will drop the Transformer Shield. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but I haven't done my research. I should have. I'm sorry, ladies and gents, you deserve better than that. So, let me give you a better description. The Transformer Shield. It's uh, actually uh, an absorb shield, which can uh, absorb enemy bullets. It is immune to electrocution damage. Uh, and if your shield is depleted, uh, shock damage will recharge the shield. So that's the Transformer Shield. And as for the Deliverance Shotgun, it is a TDO Shotgun. Uh, and it comes in all elements, and that's basically it. Yeah, it's just a it's just a TDO shotgun comes in all elements, and as I said, you get that from Tumba uh, in this uh, location. Any good? No. Right. So. So if you see one, there will be the other. If you see Tumba, you will see Pomon. And vice versa. And if you see... I think we would have seen them by now, to be honest. Unless they're over there. It could be over in that area. Pomon is a stalker and Tumba is a, a skag. And there is a challenge for killing them 10 seconds apart. Yeah, we would have seen him by now. This is the power of a siren. Oh, finally. Finally a better bloody shield. Right. I'm going to put that on. Good one as well. It's an absorb shield. So absorb shield means I've got a chance to uh just show you now. Got a 14% chance now to absorb enemy bullets. Um, if I do, it's added to my backpack. So, good shield. Right, but time is ticking on, ladies and gents, and I've got the perfect place to save this game. So, any of you that bought the Handsome Collection or played Borderlands 2, what will happen is... You will have the choice to enter this area up here. Not the one I'm going through now, but you're kind of going through this door. And then to the right here, you've got this place. Okay, now you only get this if you played it, if you played Borderlands 2, um, or if you bought the Handsome Collection. To be honest with you, on the Xbox One, I think it's just if you bought the Handsome Collection. Anyway, not important. If you've got this area, you can go in, save, come out, then when you reload the game, when you reload this area, you'll be here. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay, now that we're in here, what we want to do, no, it sounds stupid, we want to go back out. 
So there you go. Now what should happen, technically it should happen and I hope it does, when I load the game up next time we will start from here and then I'll show you what I mean about opening those boxes for the loot midgets and we'll carry on with this mission. Uh, but there you go ladies and gents, we're going to call it there, time's ticking on, 31 minutes, yep. Right so there you go guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, as always, uh, if you enjoyed it please leave a like, uh, any uh, questions or suggestions Please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always feel free to subscribe and if you do just go ahead press that little like, uh, bell icon and I'll keep you up to date with all the latest Lassus Gaming videos. So until the next episode guys take care. Bye.